in the last episode what we did was we looked at effect effect controls and also how to color grade and make color corrections in today's episode we are going to combine everything we've learned thus far and we are going to put them into practice by delivering a full video editing project from start to finish now the first thing you want to understand when a client gives you a job is that it will give you a brief what the brief is the brief is just a some sort of document that narrates its expectation what they expect the end product to be like the onus is on you as a video editor to make sure that you deliver on the brief now sometimes the brief can come in with certain other stuff maybe some um logo and some other branding items all right sometimes i can come in with a script or a voiceover or what have you it depends on what you and the client agrees on so but on today's episode i want to show on the projects we're going to be working with we're going to be working with a real life project one of my projects i'm handling for one of my clients let me start from scratch normally what i do is i put word out there and i put myself on the online space most people see my content and they want me to deliver a job for them so these are these clients reached out to me he said he saw my work somewhere and it's beautiful he thinks he want he would like to work with me i said okay that's good i'm willing to work with anybody who's willing to work with me so we discussed the terms now he's a youtuber all right amongst other things but what we were working on is on this youtube channel okay so what it does is it gives me a topic and he expects me to create a script for the topic generate the voiceover and make it to a full-blown video then submit back to him and we have an agreement that is going to run weekly all right so we agree that okay a certain amount is of videos are to be delivered week in week out that's something very nice i think that's something we could do okay so after we agreed on this we started discussing pricing when we discussed the pricing i said okay or so so and so content i'll do this now pricing normally should be client dependent that's where i advise my students your pricing should be client dependent for example if shell is spdc as a an oil firm is bringing a job for you to do the amount you are going to charge them is going to be different from when you, what you are going to charge a small business owner who's maybe as uh, a game house or some small business in town because they have a whole lot to gain in terms of share and they will lot to lose also so if things go wrong they are going to use your work for example if things go well your work is going to yield a whole lot of profit for them so charge them well unlike the small business person factor in the amount of money they are going to make as a result of your job that's how you price it pricing is a whole course on its own we're going to talk more on pricing after this project's work all right so that's after we met he gave me the brief so let me just jump in so that we can start right away now here is a sample of what he wanted me to do the niche is what we call youtube cash cow content those faceless videos that you see on youtube they are created by video editors most times the video editors are not the owner of the channels all right so the owner of the channel looks for a topic that as icpc i cost per click okay so they tell you they give the topic for example winning pro winning products for dropshipping 2023 all of the things that you see here have been researched already and it has been established that these are contents that people are searching for and they have high cost per click so they gave it to me as a video editor i will create a content around all of these as you see here you see that the he sent some links to some blogs alongside to give me good content contest okay maybe he read this and he said he liked this so this will give me as a guide to know how to generate my scripts but you know the way they write a, a content for for reading is different from how you write a content so that you want to make a voiceover that has to be listened to and watched okay so what i will do is from that content that has been written i will try to generate and make it something that would look like a script that could be produced as a voiceover i haven't done that 
we'll get our voiceover then we'll jump into adobe premiere pro and start mashing clips relevant clips to what is being said and make the video as engaging as possible because watch time is very important for the benefit of this video what we'll be working with is the cheapest wholesalers in the uk with worldwide shipping so here is a link to an article that talks about this now it's left for me to know to read this article so that i will understand the context to which what the my client has in mind for giving me this topic so that i don't go overboard creating something that he does not want that's why i put some uh, links here and you can see if, if for the, some others there are no links okay so this is just an excerpt of the topics that he wants me to make for him all right there are many others but i decided to choose this one okay so since he's a drop shipping guy for this content for your own case it might not be for drop shipping maybe it could be a sports channel it could be a religious channel it could just be a normal blogger who wants to do wants to do something like this for them all right so these are things that you could do as well you could convert blogs to videos and make a lot of money convert them to videos and make a lot of money one of the ways some blogs are making money right now is if their blogs is selling fine it simply means that definitely since youtube is the second largest search engine in the world after google experience company then it simply means that some persons who are visual learners instead of going to search something with mind to reading and getting information they prefer to go to youtube and watch so if i'm a blogger and i write a good content i should also do well to make sure that i convert it to video so that i also got reconversion on it again okay so let's delve into the one that we're going to be working with for the day which is how do i create this video from scratch cheapest wholesalers in the uk but i limited it to five because i don't want the videos to be very long all right so let's just jump right in now is a good time to open premiere pro but i'm going to open premiere pro after i must have gotten my script so the first thing i will do is get my scripts ready i read i first of all read the blog which is this one this link here i click it open and i read it and i get an idea of what they are saying then i rewrite everything so i make it suitable for video as a script having done that i'll come to word and here is everything i've done in word i've written the scripts and i've made sure that it is prepared to be converted to a voiceover i looked through for errors and the only errors you see marked in red here are actually the brand names they are not necessarily errors okay so this a four page word document from experience will give us something like five six say six minutes at most all right in terms of video production if you produce it into video so these are things that you want to know so that when you are making your scripts you are comparing how long it is and you are calculating factoring it into time as a rule of thumb 200 words is equal to a minute 200 or 250 words depending on how you're writing is or the font size is equal to a minute so let me just take this for example uh the first line the, whether you are selling online or have a physical retail store, finding a trusted wholesale supplier is the key to building a successful business. Welcome to Dropshipping also. Like this video, subscribe and click the bell notification button to get notified whenever we upload new content or new videos on the channel. So uh, normally if this were to be a blog, they would not write it like this, alright? So I only did this because I want to make sure that is engaging enough and i give them some call to action while they are watching the youtube video all of these things are things that the client would expect you to do for them if you are in this youtube content creation niche so moving forward how do i convert this script into a voiceover it's simple i could just plug my microphone and start reading it but put life to it so depend on the tone i'm looking for that's what's going to guide me who are my target audience am i looking at the west as in the us uk or i'm looking at african content so that's when or i'm looking at india or arabia so that will necessitate the 
type of voiceover I'll make. All right. So as a rule of thumb, if you are creating a very high-end video, you want to pay a professional voiceover to do the narration for you. Now the you factor this in and give it as an option to your clients so that it knows. If we go online now and maybe say we'll go to Fiverr, Fiverr.com, we'll see different um, narrators, people who do voice over there. Anyone you go, you could just click. If I search voice over, for example, I will deliver an epic American male voice over. This is American, American, American. So if I want Indian or maybe Eastern Europe or, or Africa, so this is what's going to guide the nature of the person. I'm going to, for example, this lady now, Crown Voices. I will record the high quality African American urban female voice for you. So that's what this person is going to do for you. So again, don't forget, you factor this in. This is not a free service, all right? You tell your clients that if he wants a very high end stuff, he's going to pay for it. If he doesn't want to pay, then you can go ahead with the other option that we'll be looking at, which is test to speech. There are various test to speech softwares we have. I've bought one before, which is Speechello, okay? And I'm using it, but I don't think that one is sounding more like a human. It's looking more like a robot. So I have one very secret tip I use to get a very nice audio every blessed time. American accent, Indian accent alike. Okay, very, very realistic human sounding voiceover. Yet it is test to speech and it is free. If you want me to make a tutorial on that, go right on the comment section and comment. Tell me, Lavish, please make this tutorial for us. Okay. That's what I've been using. Some of my clients don't even know that's what I even use. And we charge them for it. And they don't know they pay for it. All right. It is not, it is free. It's not like those ones that you buy, those test of speech that you buy. I don't buy. I have bought before, but I'm not the one I bought. It's sounding more like a robot. You know it is AI generated. Okay. But the one I'm using now, even though it is AI, it is free. It's not paid service. And just a few tweaks of your PC you get it working so that's how it settles it it's either you are paying a professional voiceover to get the narration of the scripts you developed from the topic or you are doing it yourself okay or you are using sorry or you are using a test to speech to get the voiceover generated whatever you agree with your client go ahead to do that we decline we render this service it's not as if somebody will just bring topics for you for your case there are some depend on the brief depend on the agreements you have with your client for some persons what they do is they will just give you the script some people will give you the voiceover so all of these things for example they just give me scripts and i will give them a complete video definitely will be paying more money as opposed to someone who will bring who will provide you the video editor with the voiceover already and some other materials that you work with okay so i hope you get let's make that fact very very clear all right so this person doing this with me is willing to pay that's why he's doing all of this and he believes that maybe i will do a better job as compared to or maybe he's busy he doesn't want to do anything i just want me to handle everything from start to finish all right okay so let's jump into the script again this is the script I've written. Now, let's say I've taken this script and I've given it to a professional voiceover or I did it myself or I use a test to speech depending on what... But in this case, I use a test to speech because that's what I'm using for this client. Now, let me play the voiceover that I generated for you guys so that you understand what I'm talking about. I'll go to... Where do I have this? Download... Um, just give me a second. Let me search through my PC. I I know that uh, I had it saved to my PC. Okay, I think this is it. UK suppliers. So let's play on here. Why is this not playing? Whether you're selling online or have a physical retail store, 
Finding a trusted wholesale supplier is the key to building a successful business. Welcome to Dropshipping Hustle. Like this video, subscribe and click the bell notification button to get notified whenever we upload new videos from the channel. In this video, we'll show you a list of the 5 best wholesale suppliers in the UK. Let's get started. All right, so I hope you see you've listened to the voiceover that I generated. It's sounding more like a human, right? Okay, so now let's get back to this. So now we can do all the scripts at the moment, all right, because now we have converted this script to a voiceover. So it is the voiceover that will now start working with when we get to Adobe Premiere Pro. I will start tying the relevant clips to what the voiceover is saying. Then in the end, we try to make it as engaging as possible. Then we call it a day, submit to our client. Depending on your agreement with your client, he could tell you to also create thumbnails for him. So depending on your skill level, some of you guys who are just only video editors, that's why I said you should learn how to work with the full Adobe suits, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, After Effects, and what have you, what not, okay? So that you will just be a creative designer, not just restricted to being a video editor. So that when you need to do anything graphics, you know how to do, get it done. All right. So for this person, he, I submit this alongside the YouTube thumbnail. Okay. So that's what we do. So let me, I think this is a good time now to jump right into Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just uh, go to Premiere Pro. So while Premiere Pro loads, let me just use this opportunity to tell some of you guys that you could be asking your questions on the comment section. Make sure that your questions are asked. It is important you ask questions, okay? On the comment section, I will always provide answers to it. You guys share this video with friends, families, and anyone who really wants to grow creating content as a video editor okay how to get gigs as a video editor there are a whole lot we're going to be discussing on this channel so make sure you get it okay all right so now just look at what i have here on my premiere my premiere normally will show you the most recent projects as i just did you saw that um, five hours ago i was here in this is a dropshipping also UK supplier, what have you. This UK supplier video is a video I already did. I already made, I made it earlier run today. So I'm going to use it to show you guys what, um, how the project went. I want some explainers and take you through my step by step. Let's go. Or maybe we should just go with um, product suppliers. It, it doesn't make any difference. Any one of these we could use it to show you what we did so let me just go open project flyers for example let's premiere this thing a whole lot is going on on the back of my pc that's why it's seemingly kind of slow all right so if you see my tax manager at the moment you see i'm having my memory 73 percent oh boy okay premiere normally we open the last point you add your, your play head okay so because we are starting now i will take it to the beginning and let's just glance through all right let's just glance through the video okay so we know that in premiere this is our sequence normally when we start we should have nothing here in this project so the first thing i did was to imports all of the videos that i was going to use in creating all of the projects and files i was going to use in creating this video so from pictures to logos to um, screen recording to clips name it all of them i got them imported into my project my project uh, pain having done that i will then open my sequence then I set the sequence to the relevant set settings of um, 1920 by 1080 p and voila, we are here. So the first thing I did was to import the audio. As you can see, this is the audio here. I imported this audio and at the time I had no video. So let me just talk, go all the video off for now so that you understand when I start 
working from scratch okay so go this on some of these were locked by me earlier okay i think we are good now so when i import my voiceover from the project thing into my timeline sequence so the first thing i'll do is to play the voiceover that are generated from the script i'll play it from start to finish everything from start to finish so let me just use create some some a new sequence so that you guys can really follow this well i'll make it 10 a 1080p sequence so the 19 p leave it in 30 frames per second i already asked me what that meant okay so this is my sequence two all right so now let me import this um, voice over i'll just drag it and put here like this all right and now i'll play it through looking for cheap wholesalers to buy products so you can resell them for maximum profits welcome to drop shipping hustle like this video subscribe and click the bell notification button to get notified whenever we upload new videos on the channel in this video we'll show you a list of the top so i'll play this normally i'll just first of all try my best to zoom in okay maybe even expand this like this so that i can see the wave signatures okay of the sound all right then i play if there is need for me to edit this then i will do that i'll edit it cut it trim and what have you to make sure that it is now perfect when i get it as perfect as i want in terms of the pacing and everything even the pronunciation of the words everything is correct the next step is to start tying clips images videos logos tests to what the voiceover is saying to give its meaning and in an engaging and in a way that it tells a story so the first thing i see here is looking for cheap wholesalers to buy products so you can resell them for maximum profits so looking for you could even go back to your scripts all right okay we are working on this another script at the moment we are using i don't know if i saved that the previous scripts it's not saved we are said looking for blah 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 immediately he said the thing if he says a thing let's take it again so that we can listen looking to for cheap wholesalers looking for sheep wholesalers are you looking for sheep wholesalers now he's asking a question all right so what video would you think can tell this story better what video so let's see what i chose to work with all right so i chose a video where someone is like browsing the internet but i'm not showing the screen at the moment because i don't have control over what they might be showing on the screen all right so but i know that the person is kind of typing maybe he's making a search online so looking for cheap wholesalers to buy products so you can resell them for maximum profits welcome all right so i haven't done that at the place where he said welcome how would i know this i will see the um, signature of the sound registered it wants to start around here so as i listen that's where i'm going to know i'm going to make it a quick cut he cut it so then i got a clip of a lady who's just waving the hand saying waving like some sort of welcome now it doesn't necessarily mean that it ha the person has to say welcome sometimes it could be inferred okay use your discretion when you are doing things like this so now one question you might want to ask how where do i get all of these clips from there are a whole lot of free resources that we could get one of those places is vdevo.net i love this so much vdevo vdevo.net so yes i guess you can see this vdevo.net i'm going to drop a link 
on the comment section so that you can on the on the video description rather so that you can follow up with it another one that's very very easy is pixabay pixabay.com pixabay.com you also get access to free files to use for your video editing jobs okay so this is pixabay now pixabay is turning free images and royalty free stock videos over 2.7 million high quality stock images views and music so i from here i can get my background music i can also get my sound effects right sound effects that i could use to sound design any music any video rather that i'm creating so i've got videvo i've got pixabay i also have miskits miskits.com is a free version for miskits you don't only have videos music sound effects you have templates for example premiere pro templates what are templates templates are stuff that other editors have already made for you all right so instead of you to go start creating maybe some simple animations sliders transition and the rest these are things that you want to you use a lot and you want to leverage on them to so that uh, you don't waste too much time making them from scratch again while you are working so we have them for premiere pro we have for after effects while i'm working i've already installed on my own premiere on my own Pre adobe premiere pro i've installed some plugins for example we have the premiere composer what premiere composer helped me do is that if i want to animate tests it makes them come in a particular way okay it's easier to make for me to get this done all right I'm see, i think you can see the previews when i paste over them all right so instead of me to go to ad, to link this to uh, adobe after effects then i could just work directly from premiere pro okay now for some transitions like this instead of me to go do some very crazy transitions in after effects I could just leverage on all these ones that are already pre-made all right so that i'll spend more time making content as lively as possible instead of doing everything from scratch so i also leave a link to where you can download adobe premiere composer this is motion doc we have a whole lot of the premiere premiere studio a whole lot a whole lot that you could that you could get for free too i will leave all of these links on the video description so let's come back to our video and continue our analysis so when it said looking for ship process by project okay welcome to drop shipping also now i had to put this here the drop shipping also if you check my other videos on this channel for example this is not what i did normally i animated it it came out and it looked a different way but i was trying to fast to leverage because i need i didn't have a lot of time i had to do a whole lot of work today i just need for the, another creative way to introduce the viewers into what the channel is and what the channel is called so what i did was simple Welcome to drop shipping. this drop shipping also normally this is what it looks like this is it it is a it is logo all right this is the logo for the channel okay so you might be asking me now how did i remove the white out of it okay how did i remove the white out of it now there are two ways that you could remove this white out of it now let me even click okay so this is it. the one that i've highlighted is the image now if i go to the effect control so that you see every form of manipulation that has been done to uh, that particular clip in this case the dropshipping also i will see the motion properties okay and if you come down to opacity you shake the opacity you will see something here it started from here right you see it's coming out little by little 
little by little before it came out full it simply means that i have keyframed it the last time we talked about keyframe i told you that we use keyframe to change a particular property from an initial state to a different state later so the opacity talked about um the see trueness like i discussed the other time the see trueness is it there or is it not there so if it's opaque like this you cannot see through it right but now i've, re I've reduced it to it's now almost not there okay so what how did i do get this to have this kind of fading effect it's look as if it's fading in right i use the keyframes and if you see here now you see the stopwatch the toggle animation is highlighted blue showing that at this point when my at least the opacity is 96 percent all right if it is not opaque if it is totally full it will be 100 as you now see here okay so but let me take it to close to the beginning of the clip is eight right if i take it to this very start of the clip you see that it is zero at this point so when it was zero here at the beginning of the clip you know initially if you don't have this here if you don't uh, after when i'm not in sure in fact maybe let me even remove it so that if I, you know if i there are two ways to to remove this thing like i told you the other day it's either i click this opacity and it tell me that this action will, will delete existing keyframes do you want to continue if i say yes now you see that the opacity has been set to zero all along across board right now i could if i take it to 100 it will be full there okay so if i go ctrl z and take it to where it was before simply means when it's at the beginning i can keep it at zero then move it for the bits then i'll push it back to 100 so that's what we will do when it, the clip is just at the play head like this you take it to zero you push it forward a bit take it to 100 so from zero to 100 hey i guess you guys know that song ah from zero to 100 hey so if i come to the beginning of the clip now Okay, I did not put, I did not even click the stopwatch. So, but the best way I like to do this because you, you want to be seeing what you are doing. Go to the point where you want the the fading to be full, as in terms of hundred percent. Go there and click the stopwatch. I want it full here. So, if I'm taking it back to the beginning like this, then I will not take it to zero. Now it has recorded for this point where it was fully hundred. And it also have a recording here when it is zero. So if I play the clip, then it's not going to look like a fading. It will fade in like this. All right. So when you see, welcome to drop shipping. It's not as sharp as it's coming at the same time where the ladies waving at the same time they change the clip from this one to this one. Okay. It's just blended in and made it subtle. I think that's a better way for it to happen. Now, don't forget that initially it looked like this. Where did the white go? The control in the keyframe had nothing to do with removing the white. There are two ways to remove this white. It's either we use the tool we discovered the other day, Ultra Key. If I click, double click on it, it will enter the highlighted um, layer, right? So if I go to effect controls and I click on this, I'm going to be able to see how the ultra key is going to look like. So I could just call the color I want to key simply means the color you want to remove, right? I click it, the idle part comes. Okay. But because at the moment now, I've already done something else to remove the white. It's now looking as if um, there's nothing to pick. So let me remove 
take it back to how it looks so this is how it's supposed to look okay if i pick ultra key for example now and i click this you see it's removed the white but it could not remove all of the white so it simply means i want to come and be using all of those stuff i taught you guys the other time said so that i'm going to come to my generation try to do man maneuver all of this play with them a bit highlights what have you come back here ma mat clean up i will show it so this is not what i want okay there's a better way for me to do this and what is that way first of all let me delete the ultra key now we now have it as it were initially if you come to the opacity because i'm having two layers this layer of the dropshipping also logo and the pretty lady that is behind this um, dropshipping logo the interaction between two logo is what we call blend mode so just right under the opacity here we see the blend mode all right and as a school of thought especially you there are two basic blend mode that you want to work with always you never you should never forget this if you are a video editor to remove white from a clip using blend mode set it to multiply it will remove all the white that you have there but if you want to remove black you use screen okay so screen is the opposite of multiply all right so you see that as i use change the blend mode now it has removed all the whites better than we did using ultra key uh, effect i hope you get this so that is how i got it so now i've showed you two things how to use blend mode to remove the white background so the first thing that i did was to remove the white background it looked better without the white than having it like this in fact the white is even masking the lady behind so that's what necessitated me to make it look as organic as possible it should not conflict with the eye of the viewer so that your retention time can continue i hope you understand okay so so now that we have it this way like this it came in softly because this fading effect is something that we did making use of the keyframes of the opacity so here it is 100 come to the starting it is zero so now we've got in two stuff right so let's keep playing as we play we listen we play we listen to the clip the most important thing is that as you are listening to it you now get cre you are a creative designer for god's sake you are a creative all right it is from your head the picture of what you want is what you are trying to give if you give someone else another video editor this same uh, script after he generates the voiceover our, both our contents will not be the same the clips that he's going to use to represent what he's hearing might be different from what for me but the learn the viewer will get similar message i hope you understand okay so to drop shipping hustle like this video now as i had like this video what am i going to do i'm going to bring in those you youtube lower threads okay i have all of these assets downloaded already so if you come here and i've already imported it if you come here you see this youtube lower third that i already downloaded so if i get to play it for you from the source monitor you see it now so i have preview if i preview it now i'm waiting for where the ant started coming around here like this so if i press i here simply means that's the point if i drag it into my timeline it is from this point it's going to start okay then i can continue if i want it to end there like this okay so what did i do you are seeing that this they left this space so that you could fix in your channel logo in there all right the profile picture of your channel okay so let's see how i got to get this done
So I will open this layer now. I also toggle this one on. Okay. If I zoom in, say 50%, for example, you will see that. Let me open the effect controls. Now, uh, sometimes it, it, if you want to control anything from the program monitor here yeah, like this if you want to control anything sometimes if you click this and you want to drag anything here it might not work what you want to do is just click this motion provided you are alighting the clip in question click this motion you will see this transform bounding box that will not give you manual control of where to push whatever in the screen okay so you must do that by clicking the motion on the effect i have to undo that now and bring it to its former position okay all right so that's where we are now what i just did was i got this drop shipping also but in this this case what i refused to do was i did not remove the back the white background here if i click on this like this now and i click on motion it's going to highlight it easy for me so i can pick it okay uh okay so move a bit like this all right now that i've arranged it in the place that it should be then in case we zoom out everything will fit you see it now okay so we've got this so now i've combined these two together as one so that if you play it now i've now branded this ordinary stuff i had here it had nothing here right everything here nothing so and i put the icon in it to make it look like it belongs to drop shipping also okay now you see this green background how do i remove the green so that i was now having only this that's here it's through the ultra key that ultra color for example if i click effects here this ultra key now if i double click it let's even go to the effect controls for the ultra key you see it here and the selection with which i used to remove the color is green when i selected it and i removed it it now gave me this and i reduced the size and i positioned it here looking I fine click the bell notification button okay to get notified whenever we upload new videos on the channel in this so the next thing after we've done this the next thing was in this video, video we we'll show you a list of the top five. Okay, so showing the list of the top five uh, people that are top suppliers rather for products. I decided to use this clip of two persons watching a computer. You just have to use any clip that you prefer that you feel tells the story more. So if you decide to use any clip, one thing you want to do is if it's as soon as it comes to your mind let's say you want you don't you don't want two person say just put man person computer if it doesn't give you this directly it's going to give you something similar oh i'm already templates make sure it's in videos okay so man pressing or man typing what have you either ways anything you do all right so if they have this you see it but now they are telling you no results they don't any they don't have anything like that that is stored there okay but you are not seeing a virtual element which is your parents company showing you that they have it in their parents company and if you want to a virtual element is not free it's a subscription based platform you could pay every month to have access to unlimited 
unlimited files and projects for your video editing gigs i really if you have the money go for it but for the purpose of this lecture we would stick to free resources so i could come here and say do the same thing same prompt man pressing computer so when you do this it's going to search their uh, database now i'm seeing this man pressing this computer but you see this flash here it tells me that it's not it's paid it's for pay so it's a premium clip so i'll just go click by the side and remove the premium ones out of it so that i don't have to see the ones that are free this man is pressing his computer these are people pressing their computer what i want to do i will not click on the, anyone i like if it's this one i like i click on it and because i have um internet download manager installed i could just easily pick it up if you are a video editor and you're not making use of internet download manager i wonder how you are working how you are doing it other than me from being fast it helps me to just sift through video that i want anyway i have it online okay i could just collect this one i could use this one now to replace these people that are here in my opinion i think it's even a better video all right to replace let's hear the, the weddings again in this video we'll show you a list of the top five cheapest product wholesalers with free worldwide shipping most of them so this guy looks like he's eager to 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 listen so now i envisage that it is my viewers that are like this guy all right i want to show them a list of the top five people um, wholesale distributors for dropshipping products and whatnot okay so you continue i hope you get the idea that it is so if i keep playing all right so this is our first transition our first transition was a zooming transition and the reason is because i'm starting it's a matter of preference anyway whenever i'm starting something like this i like to let them know that we are just getting started we are entering so for entrance purpose i like to use the zooming transition so i just now i want to transition from this video clip of a girl and a guy washing computer to the first supplier which is alibaba group I got Alibaba Group. This is their PNG um, logo from Google, a simple Google search, and I downloaded it. I imported this back into my project file. Now, a transition usually between two clips to cut attention and to tell people that oh, we are moving, we are now switching. Okay, so but this transition is not a native transition to Premiere Pro. It is unlike the ones I told you guys about. Normally, I could just come here, right click, and apply default transitions. Okay, that's how you apply transition in Premiere, or I just go to this video transition. All right, okay, dissolve, and what have you. I could just drag and put it's between the two clips all right like drag it and put it here but for the benefit of this video what we'll be using to for transition is the premiere composer so i'll send you a link it's in the video description make sure that you download and install premiere composer because they have more engaging transitions this is the transition that we use that i discussed earlier it is the zoom in okay you see i change from this to this zoom out zoom in zoom out all right so we zoomed in here like this into alibaba then i will now zoom out again from alibaba into the platform their website so let us take a few plays so that we understand Stop. and top spot is alibaba Launched in 1999, Alibaba is so Alibaba was launched in 1999. So I initially zoomed into their name 
to get the interest of the people then i zoomed that back but when i came back it was directly into their site alibaba site where we have to talk about a lot of other informations that they had going for themselves all right so that's that for what we've done thus far so basically it is this thing that we use just keep on tying relevant the tying relevant clips to the voice over i will want to switch now so that this class is not very long uh, god willing we might do a more handsome project where i'll give you guys an assignment i'll give you guys the links to the file get it downloaded on your pc i'll tell you get, give you a topic just come up with something and show me how you did it and explain them for me so that we can work together and submit it to me i'll give you corrections on what you did thus far but for now i want to switch over to the finished product how it looked like when uh we're done okay top sh five cheapest products so let's go looking for cheap wholesalers to buy products so you can resell them for maximum profits welcome to drop shipping hustle like this video subscribe and click the bell notification button to get notified whenever we upload new videos from the channel in this video we'll show you a list of the top five cheapest product wholesalers with free worldwide shipping most of them also have no minimum order quantity and no queue, so you do not have to worry about overstocking. And top spot is Alibaba. Launched in 1999, Alibaba is the best, largest, and cheapest wholesaler in the world. By collaborating with over 150,000 manufacturers, it's able to cater to over 10 million buyers per month in over 40 industries and more than 5,000 product categories. Buyers can go to the website, request quotations from any sellers in minutes, and pay for orders in a secure trade assurance manner. It's estimated that there are over 300,000 inquiries sent each day. In addition to bulk purchasing, you can also dropship goods with no MOQ from Alibaba with the help of the Alibaba Dropshipping Center. Trades. Shipped to 190 countries and regions via direct couriers, Alibaba Ocean Freight, Alibaba Air Freight, Air Express, and Persons. All suppliers on this platform have gone through strict verification and authentication processes to ensure legitimacy. Costs of products and shipping fees are negotiable. Many products have free shipping options, support in 12 different languages, extended support and after-sales service within 30 days of delivery, has private label slash white label products, accept credit or debit cards, lawyer transfers, PayPal, Apple Pay, and Google Pay, can integrate directly with Shopify and WooCommerce. Cons. Some items have relatively high shipping costs. Long processing and shipping times, 15 days at least. Some wholesale products require high MLQ. 2. D-Gate D-Gate is the next famous global wholesaler and dropshipper in China to buy very low-cost products. The platform gives you access to over 22 million product listings provided by more than 2.2 million Chinese agents, wholesalers, and retailers. Another remarkable statistic about D-Gate is that it serves over 16 million visitors per month, mostly from the US, UK, Canada, France, and other high-income countries. Pros. No MOQ. Global delivery within 3 to 15 working days. Local warehouses in US, Poland, UK, Denmark, Russia, Australia, Hong Kong, Canada, New Zealand, France, Mexico, China, Belgium, etc. Most products have free shipping options, frequent discounts, and coupons. It's free to drop ship from D8. Payment methods include PayPal, credit card, bank wire transfers, and Western Union can connect directly with eBay and Shopify. Cons. Not all sellers on DGate are trustworthy and reliable. Not all products have good quality. Shipping delays usually happen. 3. Keep buying. Keep buying is one of the best dropshipping wholesalers offering free worldwide shipping for high-ticket consumer electronics and cool gadgets. It's founded in 2012 and now has local warehouses all over China, Hong Kong, Spain, Germany, Italy, Poland, and America. Pros. No MOQ. Delivered to most countries within 2 to 50 days. Dispatch orders within 48 hours. Shipping is free for most products. You can drop ship for free from Geekbuy. Accept major credit slash debit cards, PayPal, and wire transfers. Cons. Some orders might experience long shipping times. 
Four, Sanyi. Sanyi is an affordable wholesale distributor and international dropshipping supplier with free delivery under Tumane Limited. Since 2012, it has built an efficient supply chain with warehouses around the world, from the US, UK, Germany, France, to the Czech Republic. This ensures that all of your orders can be dispatched and shipped fast anywhere you as well as your customers live. As of now, this cheap Chinese wholesaler gives you access to 30,000 high-quality products in furniture, sports and fitness, pet supplies, lamps and lighting, health and beauty, musical instruments, automotive accessories, toys and hobbies, tools and equipment, arts and crafts, and consumer electronics provided by over 500 reliable factories. Probes. No MOQ. Fast dropshipping within 3 to 10 days. Free shipping from local warehouses. Up to 5% discounts for VIP members. Professional sales consultant and after sales service. Support Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Discover, Diners Club International, Pioneer, and Bank Transfers. Can integrate with eBay and Amazon, Wish, and Shopify. Cons. Cannot deliver products to some remote countries and regions. On the last spot on our list is China Beijing. China Beijing is a cheap Asian. processing and shipping. So, there you have it. Our list of top 5 cheapest product wholesalers with free worldwide shipping. I'm pretty sure you'll leverage on these suppliers to promote your dropshipping business. Like this video, subscribe and click the notification button so you get notified when we upload new videos on the channel. Bye for now and see you on the next one. Alright, definitely we are going to see them on the next one. That's that for this particular video. It is short, apt and it goes directly to the point okay so there are different videos for different things if you go to one of my youtube channels where there's a okay let's say uh i switch let me switch, switch to this channel for example So you see this this type of content i already made the scripts all right and i created the voiceover and i'm starting to put the kind of story it is very different from um, drop shipping or business kind of something because this story is told it has to be engaging the way you present it it's totally different from the one that you watched earlier right totally different okay so there is something i did in this video that um it made a lot of sense i'll drop a link you guys just go watch so that i don't waste too much time doing all of this but i hope you get the idea of what i'm talking about so if we go back to premiere pro at the moment now you see that the major things that we got to do in this video are one you tie relevant clips to the timeline of what you have on the voiceover secondly your transition your videos the way you transition matters a lot another thing is the nature of the clips itself that you are bringing in they must tell a story if your your any video edit that doesn't tell a story simply has done a very bad job it has done a very very bad job so this is just one of the ways that we could work um, from start to finish when a client gives you job how you get uh, i already showed you guys how you can get your voiceover how you can make research for the topic that we're giving to you or maybe they did not give you topic rather they just give you the voiceover or they gave you a script you generate a voiceover usually test to speech or whatever however you work with this is going to be your workflow you get your brief from your clients haven't done that you now start 
curating certain things that you will need to prepare the video especially the scripts then you move to the voiceover then after you've gotten the voiceover then you open premiere pro and start tying relevant clips to the voiceover to give it meaning and make it as engaging as possible so that's that's what we've done for this session and then i will give you guys an assignment feel free whenever you need anything you want to ask me any questions as you got editing of videos and that's the reason you guys paid for this course it gives you access to me ask your questions be open for mentorship and i need you guys to um, grow fast so that i can inculcate and maybe imbibe you into my team so that we can make more money together cheers and thanks for listening if you enjoyed this video make sure that you share it share it on social media share it with friends share it with relatives everybody click that like button so that you always get notified whenever we upload good content as this one on the channel so until i see you next time enjoy and remain a good creative